Okay, so here we are. Assetto Corsa Competizione in VR. Um, just going to have a couple of quick races, a couple of quick 10 minute races. The first one is the new circuit, Mizano, but I'll be driving the, the previous car, the Lamborghini. Uh, the second race I'll do at the previous track, which is Nürburgring, but using the newer car, which is the Bentley Continental. So, let's um, get a move on. We'll have a little chat about... All right, mate, race is about to start. Hold your position until the green flag. Take it easy, turn one. About what the game's like. So, um... We've got a rolling start through the first corner. Let's go, let's go. Come on. So the VR... is a bit iffy, to be honest. It's not very crisp. And, uh... There's a few frame rate issues. It's not very smooth. And this is running on a 1080 Ti graphics card and it's running at pretty much the optimum settings you can get for it. A gamer muscle. Coming through. Gamer muscle uh, took about two or three hours to get it sorted properly. Oh man, so um This is the best it's gonna look for the time being. But to be honest it doesn't look that great. Considering so much fanfare was made of the fact this game is using the Unreal Engine. It doesn't look particularly awesome. This Lamborghini is much harder to control than the Bentley. In fact, the Bentley is uh, such a yellow flag, yellow flag. Be careful. fairly nice car yellow to flag. drive. It really gives you an appreciation for how tricky this Lamborghini is. It's very, very twitchy. It's got bags of oversteer. Yellow flag ahead. Be careful. But this track, Mizano, can't say I'm a big fan of it. The uh, the track is really set up for MotoGP more than it is for cars. You don't get the opportunity to really get anything, any any momentum built up or any speed built up. It actually. Reminds me a little bit of Zolda, but on Zolda you can actually get some fairly decent races out of it, depending on what you're driving, of course. This track really doesn't give you the chance to build up any speed or consistency there's a lot of corners which means it's going to be a dive bombers paradise and we know that people who love to play GT3 races love to dive bomb just try and catch up with this Audi
Uh, VR is really the only way I can play this. I can't play on monitors. I just can't get the depth right on a flat screen. Much better in VR on the the quasi 3D that it gives you. It's much easier to judge where you are in relation to the other cars. This is the only place you can get in the top gear, but you're only there for a second. We are halfway through, not over yet. Little nudge from the Audi. You can see a lot of frame rate issues, they're a little bit jerky. The sound is still really good. Got another Audi inviting himself to the party. Bumpity bump. Again, a few frame rate issues there as we moved out. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Audi decides to nudge my quarter. You can hear a lot of the track debris in the wheel arches. That didn't help with the handling of the car. Steering's a bit off. Not long left in this race to go. Two and a half minutes. The, um, the on-screen displays in VR, you can't really see them. But they're very, very close to your nose. So you almost have to... Uh, to bring your head back a bit to see what exactly is happening. Goodness me, this car is sluggish off low revs. Turn, turn, turn. So you can't really build up any momentum. It's just so tight. And this car is so sluggish off the start of each gear. into the start finish straight haven't tried this in the wet yet next lap's going to be the last one
Got to be very aggressive on the kerbs, really, to get a fast lap around here. Fast laps are apparently in the low 130s. Goodness me. Bom, bom, bom. The Lamborghini is a lot harsher on the kerbs than the Bentley. The Bentley is a lot more forgiving, which is why I want to do the Bentley. Oh, good grief! Do the Bentley right, the is on the final lap. Give the final push. at the Nurburgring. Inside the car looks fairly pretty, but considering this is an Unreal Engine game, the outside in VR needs a lot of work, a lot of work indeed. So coming up to the last lap. Before we change to the Nürburgring. My lap times in the Bentley around here was about 135, 136. This car is just so much harder to control. Just get through the other half of the track, hop over to Nürburgring and see the difference. Race is finished. Flares are being let off. So that Audi taking me off here really didn't do me any favours. Goodness me, this card is hard to control. Okay, over the finishing line then, and let's head off to Germany. Alright, check it flag. Good job, you did the best you could. Now bring the car back. Well done, mate. The fastest lap so far. So let's just stop here and come out. Game has stopped me. So let's go to the Nürburgring. Let's change the car first of all. That'll do. Nürburgring. Same time of day. Same session conditions. Nürburgring. Uh, I prefer the track much more than Mizano. I mean, Mizano I haven't really raced much, but from what I've done, I really don't like it. It's way too tight. Um, so here we are, Nürburgring, so it's much more familiar. Where are we? Seventh. So let's get, let's get going. So here's the inside of the uh, very unusual steering wheel. That's okay, all. the race is about to start. Hold your position until the green flag. Watch out in the first corner. So the driving position is a little bit lower in this. 
a little bit harder to see. So as soon as we get around here, we're going to be go, go, go. Come on, guys, get across the line. Green light, green light. Go there go. it is. See, frame rate. Oh, Christ. Frame rate's dropping so much, you can't tell where you're braking. Again, low speed in this, a bit tricky. Much more stable, though, than the Lamborghini. But wow, this it's a little bit busier on the track. And the frame rate is dropping like a stone. But this car is a lot easier to control. Oh, come on, turn. This is a, a much heavier car. But it certainly feels heavier. It's less aerodynamic than a Lamborghini. Got a Mercedes right behind me. Come on. Quite a lot of understeer there. Visibility is not great. I can't see my left side mirror at all. Through the GT chicane much quicker than the Grand Prix chicane. But again, you can see the, how the frame rate's really stuttering as we come around the final corner. Better second time round. Catch up with the Lambo. Mercedes is all over my tail. Oh, this is really sluggish on that corner. And again, there's the juddering of the frame rate. Desperately trying to clunk its way around. It doesn't make for a smooth driving experience at all. Got another Mercedes right behind me. got the mirror set to low which means you don't see the car until it gets almost up your backside and then it suddenly pops into your rearview mirror which is a little bit disconcerting but the car felt very stable around that corner under acceleration so you can really see the difference between This car and the Lamborghini, they do drive so differently. Be interesting to see the other cars when they start to get released in future builds, how they handle. 
nip up the inside of this Merc no. The, uh, the force feedback feels a little bit better than it did on the original builds. It's a lot more responsive, a lot harder braking that time, has got me in a much better line. I mean, this, this track is light years ahead of Mizano in terms of being able to actually race on it. Four minutes to go. So there's obviously going to be a lot of work done on this game before it's in its final state, which will be around March next year. Well done, mate. That's all fast to start. Again, frame rate dropping. not very crisp but at least it's not blurry or washed out I'd say at the moment that the VR graphical level of this is a slightly lower resolution version of a Seto Corsa in VR being run on medium settings or thereabouts I mean, the sound in the game is very, very good. It's not quite on a par with Race Room, whose audio is just astonishing. But it is very good, very immersive sound. Accelerating all the way back up to six before we get to the chicane. Ferrari and the Merck are having words. Yellow flag ahead, watch out. Under the BMW bridge. The fastest step so far. Going backwards, so I'm not going backwards at all. I'm not moving at all. The game has completely stuffed me. Well, that's no good, is it? So I can't move my car, it's like I'm stuck on something like a tortoise. Oh well, we'll have to leave that there. So, um, there we go. A quick look at um, a set of course of competition in VR. Uh, second build thoughts, uh, obviously it's a lot better than the first build, uh, there's been a few little tweaks with the handling and the physics and obviously the VR has been added, the VR is not great, the frame rate is abysmal, the resolution is not that great, um, so again a little bit, bit more work to do there. Next build introduces basic multiplayer, so let's see how that copes uh, in VR, it's probably going to be a complete mess unless they uh, do some... Uh, updates for the VR but there it is so um, 
Yep, thanks for watching and we'll have more Assetto Course Competizione in the future as it evolves.